It's time for another What Sold video. What Sold, Bolos, and Beyond. <laughs> so what does that mean? If you're new here, it means that I'm going to share 10 items sold in our store and some Bolos sold items on eBay to help you when you're outsourcing, you know, things to look for. And when I do these videos, I always learn something new. Yes, I do. Even after the fact, after the fact of I already bought it, I already sold it, now I'm putting this video together and I learned something new by checking eBay sold comps, you know, other things that I never thought about. It's not always the same item, but similar items. And I learned something new, so I share that with you. And if you're new here, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to our channel. My husband Mark and I are resellers on eBay and Macari and Poshmark, though I tend to talk mostly about eBay. But that's going to change because I'm starting to put a little more effort into Poshmark and Macari because I think it's important that we don't put all of our eggs in one basket, the eBay basket, if you know what I mean. So what can I call this video? I think I'm going to call it the variety store video because we sell all kinds of different things. And unlike some shops on Etsy where you might have a curated shop, no, our eBay store is a hodgepodge of a variety of things that we pick up and make a decent profit on. So with that said, let's get started. This first item is a big drink of water. A really big drink of water. This, my friends, is a really tall glass. Oh my gosh. At least there's only one of them. It's Vintage Fiesta Wear Libby Stripe Drinking Glass 32 ounce tumbler sold for $24.95 plus shipping. They paid $36.19 for this tumbler. I bought it at a church rummage sale for 25 cents. Would you have picked up a single glass and researched it? I'm sure glad I did. These are slightly different, but six sold on eBay for less than 49 and a lot of four sold for 39, a lot of five for 34, and a set of four for 35, and five for 30, four for less than 30, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I don't think I did too bad with selling just one of this style for $24.95 plus shipping. Yes, veggie blades. We sold more veggie blades. I think you've seen veggie bullets in all of my last videos, but I sold some more. A thick slicer blade sold for $14.94, sold another one for $14.94 and a steak fry blade for $14.94. And I still have more to go. Christmas is starting to sell. And yes, we do keep Christmas in our store all year long. And yes, it does sell all year long, but I've noticed a little uptick lately. How about you? So these three owls, they are adorable. They do stand up when they're not in a bag. I think I got them at the ReStore. And let's see here. They sold on offer for $30 plus shipping. These three owl figures probably took a long time to sell because they were unbranded. And as you see here, I pasted in the title, Winter Owl Figures and Knit Sweaters and Hats Christmas Holiday Decor. And what did it bring up? Well, it brought up sweaters. <laughs> Christmas sweaters, ugly Christmas sweaters, cute Christmas sweaters. So they probably didn't come up all that often in search, but I did get them sold. And I think for $30 for the three plus shipping wasn't too bad. Do you buy and resell travel alarm clocks? Vintage travel alarm clocks. We've sold several now. This travel alarm clock sold to a subscriber. I don't have her name in front of me, but I will say thank you again for purchasing from our store. I have sold these little clocks several times now. This is a vintage London made in Germany travel alarm clock. I found 38 active listings for a vintage Linden Germany travel alarm clock. Let's go check solds. In solds, I found 16. That's not too bad of a sell-through rate. And you can see all the different styles. Here's one that sold for $35. Really cute. Here's our listing over here. Sold for $29.95. And this one, they took an offer off of $29. This one sold for $19, but that doesn't really look the same. This one here. Looks like a little coin purse, sold for less than 19. I think they left money on the table. But this just gives you an idea how these vintage London made in Germany little travel clocks can sell 
anywhere from on average $20 up to about $35. Many sellers here gave them away for under $20. Why did they do that? Who knows? They left money on the table. I know that it's getting harder to find good things at the Goodwill. I'm beginning to question why they have the word good in their name. But with that said, if you look hard enough, and if you look at the things other resellers have already passed up, you might just find some gems, such as things that crafters like. What do you think, Mark? Is there anything good at the Goodwill today? Well, I mean, they advertise there's good stuff here, right? It's called the Goodwill. We're checking out another one of these, uh, I think it's called Xyron, 499 cartridges. 50 foot, 9 inch, that's what I'm looking for. I'd say it's new. Okay, yeah, look at that. 499. Page 699 is sold up for $24.95 plus shipping. For this Creative Station Xyron Laminate Cartridge number 900, I'm in active listings and you can see here there are eight. And I have them sorted by highest and they're starting out at about $39. Let's go to solds. I'm in sold listing sorting by highest to lowest. And there's 11 sold, so these are selling pretty decent. One sold for 35, 27, 29, 27. So people are still buying these Creative Station cartridges. And what threw me with this is, see how yellow this is? I thought at first that there was something wrong with it, but there wasn't, there wasn't anything wrong. And ours sold for $24.95. Could I have gotten a little more? Based upon this, well, I guess I could, maybe up to $35, but we did sell it for $24.95. Not only did we sell a cartridge for $24.95, we also sold, can't see it here, a Xyron Creative Station crafting machine, and it came with a cartridge, and it sold for $30. I've had these two figurines in our inventory for a very long time, and I think you'll recognize them without any problem. We're going to jump right into eBay sold comps, and then I'll show you what they nice. sold for. And as I'm here on eBay looking for some bolos, it doesn't give me the option to sort by highest to lowest. So I'm just going to scroll through here. You can see there are lots of them, going from $19, $22, $13, it's kind of all over the place. And as I scroll down through, you could say, well, you get more if you have more in the lot. But personally, I think you can make more if you separate the lots. Well, let's come down here and take a look at these figures. One sold for less than $12, $9.99. Look at this set here, sold for $7. And this set here for $15. And as I'm looking here, I think Daisy doesn't look very happy here. <laughs> She looks like she might be upset about something. McDonald's got his hand up waving high, but let's keep going down here. So what is my point with this? Our set is right here. A little bit different. They are made in Japan. I'm not sure if the others were or not. Donald is holding an apple. She has her arms behind her back and looks kind of happy, I think, maybe, or, or wondering what he's up to. But anyway, we had it at $24.96 and it sold for $20 plus shipping. I've already mentioned that Christmas ornaments are selling. We found these next items fairly recently at a church rummage sale, and I only paid 50 cents each, so I've got $2 invested. Oh, there's still some stuff here. Room's pretty empty as far as people here. Okay, looking at Christmas ornaments, these were $11.99, they've got them 50 cents, and we've got four of these. So that would make a nice little lot, even though I have to sacrifice part of the tag. <laughs> I'll get those, advertise those as Victorian. I have been buying and reselling vintage Victorian Christmas ornaments for well over a decade. So let's look at some sold comps here on eBay. This lot, oh, these are those really unique ones where they were handmade, hand beaded with little head pins and all kinds of little beaded embellishments. This lot, don't know how many are in it, sold for less than 300. And here's a lot that sold for 75 and 65. Yes, ours are different. They're tassels and they're definitely more modern. Maybe I need to go back up and type in the word tassel. So I added the word tassels and you can see these are little purses that have tassels on them. Three of them sold for 25. Kurt Adler, excellent brand to resell. 
These are really pretty, these Victorian rose sugar beaded. Sugar beaded means that it has these little clear glass round beads adhered to it. For sale for $25. Here's our listing here, it took an offer off of $24.95. Here's a set of four, they took an offer off of $33. But Victorian style Christmas ornaments can sell. So when you get an opportunity at a garage sale or a church rummage sale, and you can get a lot of these, a lot, a lot meaning two or more, I highly recommend you pick up these beautiful Victorian ornaments because people still like to decorate with them and you can get a decent price for them. If you've been following our channel, you know that I have a video out there for Kay's sale. Kay who had the estate sale where I bought several items and I bought three items in particular for $15, which were Fire King Jadeite bowls. Two Jadeite bowls and a Fire King Jadeite batter bowl. And if you missed that video, that was a $950 sale. So that was my absolute best sale on eBay ever. So I hope you go back and find that video. But in this video, we're going to talk about the, the Fire King Jadeite batter bowl. This next item is something that I found at K sale, K sale where I found the Jadeite bowls. This is our first table. We have some pink depression glass. Oh, all kinds of pretties here. Some cut glass. Lots of things to look at. And then let me just show you the room here of all the other tables filled with treasures that we get to go through today. On eBay, I'm looking up this Fire King Green Jadeite Batter Bowl. And I'm looking at active listings just to see that there's 152. Let's just kind of scroll down through here and take a look. I think this one with the Jadeite label is really cool. But let's jump over to sold listings. Let's go to sold. Sorted by highest to lowest. What do we have? This one sold for 67. Took an offer off of 55, 58. One of these with the label sold for 55. Uh, again, took an offer off of 55, off of 59, etc., etc., and 50. Let's see. Let's just do this for fun. Let's sort lowest to highest. So tell me, did this person who sold it for $29 with free shipping leave money on the table? I think so. Even at 25 plus shipping, they left some money on the table. And then $19 plus shipping. So be sure to do your research. Always sort your sold comps from highest to lowest and try to be somewhere from mid mid range to high you do not have to have a race to the bottom to get something sold can you believe it's number 10 already so what i did this time i have three ten dollar sales i know i know ten dollars isn't a big sale but there's still something to be learned from everything isn't there i like to think so This vintage Joseph Originals age 13 birthday girl angel figurine sold for $10 plus shipping. Let's jump over to eBay and I'll show you some sold comps. Joseph Originals birthday angels sold listings sorted highest to lowest. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that we're seeing them in lots. A lot of 17 for 125, 15 for less than 129, 20 for 125. I've never had the entire lot of birthday angels of any month <laughs> let's see what the individual ones are going for look at this one here astrology zodiac girl sold for 74.95 that's what we're going to do we're going to focus on some single ones if i can find some here we go here's an age 15 took an offer off of 35 this one age 17 offer off of 35 age 20 i didn't even know it went up to 20 sold for $24.99 and here's one with the original box. I've never had the original box and this one sold for less than 18. It really should have gone for more. And this one here, 13 years old, went for 40 with the box, but this one without a box. It says it's new, age one, so cute, sold for $40 free ship. But some of them do have some value. I wouldn't say they're a fast seller, but I have sold several over the years. So there you go, Joseph Originals. 
piggy banks. This piggy bank sold for $10. I can't remember where I got it, but I'm pretty certain I didn't pay more than 25 to 50 cents. I don't buy things like this anymore, and it's been in my inventory for a while, but it sold for $10. So we're going to jump over to eBay to see what other piggy banks are selling for a lot more than $10. Let's look at sold comps for piggy banks. Size doesn't matter. Here's a cute 35 inch one. Not wait, 35 inches, that's huge. Sold for 105. I bet that was fun to ship. Here's another one that took an offer off of 110. Made by Universal Statuary. Cute, cute, cute. And this one, 1976, they took an offer off of 120. On the far right, another one of those big ones. They sold it for less than 89. You're going to get everything in your search. So anyway, I just thought you might get a kick out of looking at some piggy banks here. On the right, this one, large orange hard plastic, sold for 73. And more of these really large ceramic piggy banks in the 60 to 70 plus range. And this little blow mold piggy bank sold for 65. Well, that would be easy to ship. Do piggy banks have value? I guess they do. So I have a single vinegar cruet sold for $10. Got it off my shelf, you know, out the door. Again, we're going to go to eBay and I'm going to show you what some of these are selling for. And I think you'll be surprised. You know, I only have a single vinegar cruet, but let's take a look at eBay sold listings here. On the far left, this is a fancy one. Greggio Reno Italian Silver sold for $730 from Canada. Deruta Italy sold for $96. Five piece cruet set sold for less than $74. These taller ones on the right sold for less than 67. Lead crystal for 59. Deruta Italian set, nice set there with salt and pepper shaker sold for less than 59. I figure that what we had sold for someone who needed to replace a broken one. What do you think? These are an interesting shape here on the left, sold for less than 50. Here's some lead crystal, less than 50. Lemon pattern, sold for less than 32. And on the far right for 26 with a caddy. I was missing the olive oil companion and the caddy, but it still sold. Not for a lot, but sold for $10 plus shipping. I don't know about you, but I think this video went really fast, much faster than it took to make it. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while to make my videos, but I really like going behind the scenes and finding what similar things sold for on eBay. As I said, I always learn something new. And variety store or not, variety sales or not, I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and Mark and I will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe.